Hi y'all, she was seven, I'm back. And I'm gonna tell y'all how to find y'all a rich man, okay? If that's what you're looking for. Um, there's many ways to find people with money. Many, many ways, believe me. You just have to be very determined. And you also have to do the research. You also have to do, you know, you have to put in work. Okay, you can't just sit there and expect them to come to you. You got to go where they are. Okay, so I'm going to tell y'all a few things that y'all can do to bump into rich men. Um, because there's a lot of them out there, you know, there's a lot of them out there, and just people don't hang out in the same circles, so you have to get out of your comfort zone, you have to leave your neighborhood, you have to go and you know where people with money go so i'm gonna read i'm gonna put on my glasses because i have to read something to y'all okay so there are countless websites and dating sites where women can meet rich men millionaires there's seeking millionaires.com and you can even look and find them locally in your own city okay um, they tell you exactly how much they make. It's already up there. And the site checks out and verifies their income. So you know they're not lying. Okay. Um, they also have one called sugardaddy.com. And it's not spelled D-A-D-D-Y. It's spelled D-A-D-D-I-E. So if you're looking for that. Um, and also, you know, just Google it. There's countless, okay? And if you go on there, because I've already looked, if you go on there, there's a picture of them, where they live, what they do, how much money they make, all the questions you need to know, okay? And they're looking for women, okay? They're not looking for women to pay for dates. They're not looking for women to go half on whatever, 50-50. They're not looking for women who... Uh, <laughs> they're not looking for women who are going to uh, have to take care of them financially and a lot of these guys are young you'd be surprised you would think they were all old but a lot of them are young uh, I've gone on there there's there's all different races young old medium so you know there's a, they're attractive too. A lot of them are attractive. But the thing about dealing with millionaires, let me tell y'all, they feel entitled as well. Okay? So let me tell y'all how to handle that. If you if you get so lucky to meet one, you have to you have to stroke their ego because that's what they want. Okay? You have to be like, oh, you know, you have to be like oh my god you know you have to you have to fake it girl y'all gotta be like oh my god you're just you know you're so wonderful uh you know you you're so smart now i can see you know you know blah 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 blah. they like to talk about themselves a lot so let them talk you know they expect more up front than most guys would because they have money and they don't have to you know they can have any woman they want so when it comes to that you know Make sure you have your wine, make sure you have been wine and dine, taken to the finest places and all that stuff before you even consider that, okay? Because they're going to do that anyway. So you might as well also let them know that, you know, you like to be wine and dine and taken out if you're expected to, you know, do anything, you know, make sure and, and, and tell them. You know, I've only dated guys with money. Lie, 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 lie. I've only dated guys with money. And, um, you know, I just got I, I got out of a relationship not too long ago. But six months to a year is always long enough to be over someone. So, like, maybe say a year ago. And, you know, I've tried dating, you know, regular average guys. And I, I just can't go backwards. You know, they're not the same personality. I just don't get along with them that well and so my friend actually met someone through here and she told me about this place you know lie 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 
because you know most of them are lying to you anyway so you don't want to seem desperate like you're just some woman up there looking for a millionaire you need to say well you know i've only dated guys with with um you know financially abundant or stable guys in the past who had you know you know who had a lot of money and i'm used to that lifestyle and it's just really hard out here to find someone who can you know match my standards and don't be ashamed of it because rich people like when people appreciate lifestyle and appreciate what they can give them and appreciate a woman who can appreciate the finer things in life you know so you want you want to make sure they know that you have not just been like scraping the bottom of the barrel you want to make sure that they know that you have dated with men with money before okay and and like educate yourself on stuff don't be ignorant like um, about certain things that they talk about because a lot of these guys have traveled the world you got to know geography you you know don't be don't like if he tells you a place that he's been don't be like well where's that at don't don't be that stupid okay be like oh interesting I've always wanted to go there you know it's I heard it was very beautiful you know embellish you know BS because the worst thing is an ignorant not dumb, not playing dumbing and cute, but ignorant, you know, ignorant woman. So if you don't know where something is, don't be dumb and ask, oh, where's that? It's like, oh, yeah, I heard that place was so beautiful, you know. And if they say, do you know where it's at? Do you know where it's at? If they're trying to test you, you're like, you know what? I would actually have to find a map to, to tell you where it was. I would have to see a map, you know, because, you know, <laughs> It's been years since I've been in school. You know, play it up, don't, but be cute about it. Because, you know, no one likes an ignorant person. Anyway, so, yes, all these websites are online. Go look through them. Go look at the men in them. They're not that bad. Believe me, I've seen some and I was like, hmm, but I'm married, so. <laughs> there are some nice uh, looking guys on there, for sure. And when I was single, y'all, I did go on one of these websites and you know I was this close to meeting a guy out and, he, and where I live and I was like mm. the thing is they had too much of an ego and I was like you know what I'm not ready to deal with that right now I'm not ready to deal with that um, but I could have that's the whole thing I could have went because he he wanted to go out with me and I was like okay let's go out there and I was like mm, if I'm gonna deal with somebody with an ego that big they, they at least got they're gonna be at least be rich and famous you know <laughs> so because y'all know like back in the day I used to date like I, I have dated a, a few like basketball players and and stuff like that so um hooked up with a few celebs and all that good stuff I know <laughs> I know y'all want to know but maybe y'all could Facebook me and ask me but yeah so back then I I didn't have to settle for that because I was every weekend I could you know I would meet someone with money so it was not a big deal it's like okay okay I never bought a drink in my life y'all I swear unless I went out by myself okay and then I only bought the first drink and then other people come to finish buying me drinks for the night okay I never bought a drink for myself um, I never bought a second drink for myself let's just say that okay like when I go somewhere if I go alone I buy my own drink and then other people will come and buy me drinks and that's how it's supposed to be you know if you're if you're a woman and you're out, you're a single woman and you're out, and you're going to bars and clubs and da 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 da. You want to have something that's gonna pull them to you. A look. You have to stand out from the crowd. You gotta you just you gotta do something different. You can't look like everybody else. You got to stand out in order to get the attention of people. You know, I'm not talking about standing out awkwardly, but just something different about you. You know, it, it, Either it's the way you act, how quiet you are, how to yourself you are, you know, your hair color, you know, your outfit, something. And also your confidence, you know. A lot of women will be on their phone and when they're alone, but that's like a distraction. So 
if someone sees another person on their phone, they're not gonna approach them. So you have to like put your phone down, look around, watch people, you know? Be approachable, okay? All right, so I know a lot of guys have been trolling my videos lately and I really don't care because it just makes me feel like I'm doing a good job because if those type of men are mad at me, that means I'm making it harder for them. So that's good because those, go, those type of guys who want you to pay for your own date, your own meal, they don't need to be anywhere trying to date anybody, okay? They need to go somewhere, save up their little pennies until they can afford to date because when men do that, it's just like, that would make me want to throw up. I would throw up the food I just ate and I'm like, you know what? I didn't even, bleh, you, that's how much you disgust me and I would get up and walk out, okay? Because seriously, can, I can never, I can't even imagine some guy asking me to pay half the bill after he asked me out on a date. I'm serious. I would cuss that fool out, so loud, the whole restaurant would hear it. And they would probably clap for me after I did it. Because to me, that's just disgusting. How can you even call yourself a man? Okay? How can you even say the word, I'm a man? I don't even know. Okay? That's just nasty to me. That To me, that would be the equivalent of you having some nasty, stained dirty draws on that would disgust me to the to the max when a man says he can't pay for your date or your dinner on a date that he asked you out on you might as well rub feces all over your body because that's how you look to me right now okay and I'm, I'm not ashamed to admit it because no woman no woman should have to pay for her own meal on a date somebody else asked her out on. And if she does, she needs to reassess her self-esteem. Because, first of all, your time, your energy, your effort that you put into getting ready for that date, to go into that date, to meet that guy, cost you money too. Your time is valuable. And if somebody's going to fill up your time, they need to make it worth your while. And I know a lot of guys are going to be like, well, what about my time? My time is valuable. What you asked a woman out, she didn't ask you out. Okay? If your time is valuable, you are the one that chose to use it to ask the lady out on a date. You know? No. Ladies, do not pay for anything. Okay? Don't pay for nothing. Get up and walk out as soon as the check comes. Be like, okay, well, thank you. Gotta go. if, as soon as he says split the check, get up. Ladies, don't even sit there. Get up. I'm telling you, if a man fixes his mouth to say we need to pay separate, get up out the seat and leave before you even eat. You know, get up. You know how when the waiter comes and they put like, and they say, oh, is this going to be together? But they don't ask that with couples. So obviously you're going to get that information at the end of the meal. You know, so uh, at the end of the meal, if you have already ate, I don't care if you already ate, I don't care get up and say you know what I didn't bring my I didn't bring my wallet lie girl lie don't pay for that get up and walk out and never call him back okay <laughs> um also I did a coffee video the coffee date video don't go on coffee dates either because it costs you more to get ready get dressed spray that expensive perfume perfume on put that expensive makeup on do your hair drive to the coffee place you've already spent more than the coffee costs so you're actually coming out of your pocket to go meet somebody don't ever meet anyone for a coffee date unless they own the coffee bar okay and that's where they have to be okay that's it don't ever meet anybody for a coffee date and, I, and i'm not trying to be rude it's just that you know you set the tone for the rest of your relationship with the first couple of dates you know if you have low expectations that's what they're going to give you so you can't you can't let people treat you like that you got to get up and take your respect and walk out and people will be like oh my god she is so right i can't believe he would ask her to pay that's so cheap oh my god does he even have a job oh my god i bet he feels stupid right about now you know ladies get your, get up and leave don't even don't even entertain that nonsense okay somebody asks you out they're paying in the story okay now uh all you guy trolls that are gonna get mad at me for this video i don't care you deserve it all right i'll see y'all later bye